Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core, and I have the absolute pleasure to present to you guys some of my own Ghost Recon Wildlands gameplay. Now there was a lot more to this game than I actually first expected, it's kind of like GTA meets The Division. So just two quick disclaimers before I get into this, first of all, this version of the game is a work in progress, it does not represent the final quality of Ghost Recon Wildlands, and secondly, the difficulty setting is substantially easier. I feel like events games tend to be toned down a little bit so they can appeal to more people than just a hardcore audience, so I have a feeling that the final version of the game is going to be much, much harder than this, requiring much more tactics. Every ghost is going to have binoculars, night vision and a drone. Now you're probably going to be using the drone a lot, you can use this to fly over an area, spot all of the enemies, um, spot um, kind of objectives where you need to go, it's a very very useful tool. Or you could do what I did and kind of zoom in on a couple of pig butts. You're also going to be equipped with a bunch of gadgets such as C4, mines and flares. And obviously you can use these tools to create your own kind of diversions, ambushes and even make traps for your enemies. The next fact is that your drone is actually upgradable, so as you progress through the game you're going to be able to kind of imp improve its duration, get longer battery life, you're going to be able to um, use it to distract enemies, even add weapons I believe to it. So this drone is actually going to be a very powerful tool towards the end of the game. Ghost Recon Wildlands actually has no cover mechanic. I actually found this a bit of a weird one because um, you can only kind of like sort of crouch behind cover. Your character doesn't actually sort of snap onto it or snap onto a corner, which I think it really should. It would be great to see this game have some sort of light snapping system um, so you can stealthily move between cover or stealthily peek around corners. Um, it's, just, it's just kind of a bit weird only being able to crouch behind stuff. Next up there's going to be 60 different types of vehicles that are available to drive or fly. The missions in this game are going to be completely open world in the sense that you can complete them in any order that you want. You're also going to be tasked with taking out a lot of high value targets. Now these targets aren't people that you can um, just head straight over and take out. You're probably going to have to do a bit of preparation on finding um, evidence or even interrogating um, cartel members to get their whereabouts or get information to locate them. And then once you've located them, each high value target will have a different um, kind of behaviour, so I think the one we found decided to flee the location, but other high value targets might decide to actually fight back. Fact number 9 is while you're playing this game, other players can actually seamlessly drop in and out, and all of your progression is going to be kind of saved whether you're playing as a single player or as a co-op. And when you are playing as a solo player, um, so if you don't have anybody to play this game with, you're going to have three AI teammates, so a full squad of four including yourself. And these are going to be kind of AI teammates that will follow your lead um, and kind of stay in cover uh, until you engage and then they'll kind of back you up. Now I believe these AI teammates are only present when you're playing solo, so if you're playing with one other person, you won't have an AI soldier to kind of uh, take that spare gap, you'll just be doing the two of you. And then the difficulty of the game will scale to the number of players. So it sounds like it is going to be a bit of a different experience whether you are playing as a solo player or you are playing with a friend or several friends, it's going to be a bit of a different experience for you. Now the last fact is one that I'm actually very interested about and that's Ubisoft have commented and said they have plans for a competitive multiplayer for this game but not giving us any details yet. So that's kind of interesting. How would a competitive multiplayer work in Ghost Recon Wildlands? I definitely think some sort of multiplayer element is a great idea because you know once you've explored all the map and taken out all the high value targets and upgraded your character as far as it'll go, it's always nice to have a multiplayer to keep you playing, give you extra goals, give you um, friends to play with and get you extra content to keep you doing things. But I wouldn't want to see the multiplayer just sort of strapped on as an extra side component. If there was a multiplayer available, I'd want this to be something quite deep. As always you guys are completely welcome to let me know your honest opinions of this game down in the comments. If you want to hear more about this game, don't forget to leave the video a like and also subscribe so you keep up to date with more videos like this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.